Land of the Minotaur, or The Devil's Men as it sometimes like to be known as, is a Greek film starring Donald Pleasance and Peter Cushing. Oh man, That's it's the 1970s day. all right. And hey, it's Soul Patrol! Hi, Soul Patrol! There's a cult of Minotaur statue worshippers who are sacrificing tourists. And there's something involving a hatch from Lost, I think? I don't know. We'd better get out of here. Those who enter the forbidden chamber of the Minotaur must die. So, a preacher and a private detective journey to this village to investigate, and while they profess to have great admiration for one another, they're constantly belittling each other's beliefs and theories. They also take turns giving a shit and not giving a shit about everything that's going on. As soon as they get to town, a crazy lady promises to tell them everything that's going on if they just come and see her. I've got to talk to you. What's the trouble? There's something terrible going on here. You know something about these kids who've disappeared? Come to my house, I'll tell you everything then, not here. Hey, oh, hold on, well, wait a minute. What? For some reason, Pleasance has absolutely no interest in going to see her until after bumbling around for days, well, finally thinking it's a good idea. I'm gonna see that woman. No. No, you're not going tonight. Why? Because I make the decisions. Please, trust me. But I'll come with you, we must go and see the Baron. Let's go. Or that woman. I'm sure she knows something. Father! Father, please come here! What is it? <clears throat> hey, it's my friend, the village cop. Wait! Boy. Let's go and see that woman. Maybe then we can find some facts. And of course, by then, she's dead. Along the way, all kinds of weird exchanges take place. What a beautiful baby. He's quite a character. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'd like half a dozen eggs, mm -hmm. half a pound of bacon, and a loaf of bread. Papa. Also, I can't tell if the movie was written in a somewhat jokey way or if that's just a result of the dubbing. Whichever one it is, there are moments that just seem like they belong in a comedy. Ah! Stop! Stop! My hat! My best hat! Stop! Stop! Forget it! I didn't like it anyway. <laughs> ah! Hey, Father. Is that it? Over there? It's over there. Hi there. What's the matter? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, the demons! What demons? Did you see them? Well, there's nothing to see. They were, they were there, I tell you, I saw them. Well, whatever it is, it's gone now. It's probably just a cow loose in the woods or something. Oh, God, I've never been so scared in my life. At least they you didn't pass there. out today. They've turned the Laurie, lights off. stop it. I know, no, Laurie, stop Laurie. it. Calm down! You. Jeez, you escalated that quickly, asshole. I think he... I think he's been held... Captive. Captive? By Satan. Mephistopheles. Lucifer. These are just three words for the same thing. A phenomenon that's older than mankind. A power without a face. A force that can make people do whatever it wants them to do. The devil, yes. Yes, Laurie. The devil. I believe the devil has taken possession of this village. I don't want to insult you, Father. I'm not religious. I don't believe... You young people are all the same! You live entirely on the surface. 
You don't understand the frailty of mankind. Oh, don't get angry with me. I am telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. This is why you hire Donald Pleasance. You give him a speech about the devil or evil or something, and he nails it every time, dubbed or not. There's lots of cult and minotaur statue business towards the end, and speaking of business, why did they have to give the statue anatomically correct junk? Land of the Minotaur is awkward and silly, but sometimes spooky and fascinating. And it gets a great deal of credit for ending with everyone just exploding. Not only that, but there's no bullshit, oh, you thought good wins? Well, not so fast, my friend. Cop out. Pleasance and his buddy just congratulate each other and agree to meet up again should they ever need to battle the forces of evil. In their purity and innocence lies the hope of the future. But the fight against the devil goes on. And one day, Milo, who knows? Maybe I'll need your help again to rid the world of evil. Then a crazy kick-ass song written and performed by Paul Williams, of all people, plays over the end credits. Tempting the skies 